Hey everyone, Kaser, welcome back to Pride 2020. Let's continue on with some of the premium stuff left in this update. I'm also showing you the presidential estate. I was gonna say originally this was a very, very strong hint as to the character I was gonna get, but then I realized that this particular character wasn't a US president. But growing up, being from Canada, we never learned US presidents in school. It's only just over the years, reading things, word of mouth, all that sort of stuff, that I picked up and I learned a lot of the different U.S. presidents. The only reason that I know that this isn't a U.S. president, which is J. Edgar Hoover, was I'm pretty sure in that one episode of The Simpsons with the X-Files, wasn't he on a poster or something? And I'm pretty sure that he was part of the FBI. And if that is true, that is really the only reason I knew that he was part of the FBI and now the U.S. President. You learn something new, right? This character is actually also with an outfit, which is probably why it's 199 donuts. Alright, J. Edgar Hoover. Wow me. Hey, you! Does anyone know who that is? Hello there, subversive elements. J. Edgar Hoover. Hey, you! Does anyone know who that is? If you're a communist infiltrator, you better buy me two drinks. A new cover Hoover. Wasn't this the poster? Maybe I'm thinking of something else. And again, usually this is all off the top of my head. Mr. Mess and the dog. But this is done. The entire Springfield Pride category is complete. You probably would not have a voice, but maybe you will. Jager Hoover, the greatest cop who ever lived? Springfield, how did I get here? Well, you see, there's a space time continuum dealy and some kind of big machine. We used to explain every time somebody new showed up, but now it's kind of like, here we are, deal with it. Is this still the safest town in America? Like it was when G-Men kept the Mafia in check. Well... It is, I'm pretty sure. Loon of Springfield's Fall from Grace. So I'm probably gonna go to the police station. Or the town hall. Or when in doubt, the brown house. I'm gonna go with the police station. To clean this town up, we'll have to work day and night with total professionalism. Let's call that option A. I'm wondering if there's a B. Afraid to roll up your sleeves, Wiggum? First things first, show me your dossier on every major criminal in town. Dossier. It means a record with all pertinent information on the suspects. Oh, you want to see the napkins? Yeah, we usually take notes on the back of napkins. That way, if I'm eating at my desk and I make a spill, I've got a dossier handy to clean up the mess. Crime finding has come a long way since your day, is I bet what you're thinking. Collect dossiers on everybody. Finally, Snake will actually have some information about him. Other than that dude who robs the Quickie Marts. So we're gonna first animation, collect dossiers on everyone. Well, I can't wait around forever. Let's just do it. So he's writing something down. Once again, probably Snake. And it's a red pen, which means he's really, really serious. The dossiers are ready. We've got those criminals on the ropes now, boy. Achoo! Hey, could you hand me a dossier? I need to blow my nose into it. Mary and Anthony Fat Tony D'Amico. All crime in this town goes through him. Fat Tony a criminal? Nah, you got him all wrong. He's a kitty cat. Real generous guy, too. Gives me an envelope every month stuffed with cash. I don't even have to ask. Set up a meet. 
I'd like my enemies to know who hunts them. Ooh, can I use that line? I mean, it's not all that true for me, but I'd love to say it one time. No, you can't. This is picking up. This is getting really interesting. Which makes me wonder how this is going to actually end up. Is J. Edgar Hoover going to get bribed? Can he be bribed? Everybody has a price, or so they say. I'm a little confused as to why it was a Krusty Bugger. Ah, so this is the infamous copper who took down so many of my historical compatriots. You'll soon be history yourself, Mr. Fat Tony. Not if me and my men have anything to say about that. Ain't that right, Johnny Tight Lips? They ain't, ain't saying nothing. You know, this is the one time it would be okay for you to talk. I ain't saying nothing. I built the FBI into the most effective crime-fighting force the world has ever known. And I did it with the barrel of my gun, my beloved Chicago typewriter. Because that's the modern way to fight crime, with a never-ending hail of indiscriminate gunfire. Time to be a hero! Hunt the mob, this is getting juicy! He's coming for you, Fat Tony! He's coming for you! I really don't want to mess with him. He means business. Oh dear goodness. Baby Lisa, please step away many, 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 many feet or meters from Jack Hoover. Blam, 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 blam. Why are you fighting in my streets, you lunatic? I'm taking the war to the criminals in the only language they understand. Yeah, that's not really how we do things anymore. The mob isn't even that big of a deal these days. Relax. Fatone's crew is really just harmless local color at this point. Kind of charming if you think about it. So, uh, how do you fight crime now? With a far deadlier weapon. Paperwork. Going back to those dossiers. Which is... Well, I guess we're going to see the first animation yet again. And once again, that's what it looks like. And there we go. The full walkthrough for J. Edgar Hoover. Basically just paperwork. As Wiggum said. It's disgraceful that James Comey wrote a tell-all book. In my day, an FBI director was discreet. He had the grace to threaten and extort the president behind closed doors, like a gentleman. I must convince the president to reinstate me, but how to win his trust? I know, I'll take down his greatest enemy, the liberal media. I'll expose their lies and their fake news, and above all, the pernicious gay agenda. If the media isn't stopped, pretty soon we'll be at 100% gay, and the only one who can stop it. Investigate media agendas? So let's see if this is a costume or not. It's not. For whatever reason. I guess we'll just keep going until this ends. 8.43 in the morning. Channel 6 anchor Camp Robin buys a latte. He exchanges pleasantries with the barista. The barista has no idea that he is now gay. Are you following me, sir? I've been made. Drat. I need a better disguise. Maybe now we'll get the costume. Time to go undercover. Deep undercover. Look out, gay America. The most heterosexual man in the world is coming for ya. Naturally, it is incredibly uncomfortable for me to wear women's clothing. But the heterosexual lifestyle I love so dearly is under attack. Time to check out the breeding ground of the gay agenda, the local bar scene. For a woman-loving guy like me, this will be a treacherous assignment. Undercover Hoover infiltrate bars. And we get a first animation with this. All right, infiltrate. Here's your drink, pal. Pal, you think I'm a man dressed in women's clothing? 
That's sick. Lots of fellas enjoy a little cross dressing. Doesn't hit anybody. So nowadays, if a man finds wearing women's clothing enjoyable, that's considered okay. To each his own, I guess. Doesn't really affect me either way. Damn you, liberal media. I thought he was eating a pink donut, but it is actually a mirror. Makeup mirror? Yep. Well, it's a good thing you're not driving while doing this, because it would be pretty dangerous, I'd have to say. As I cruise the bar scene, I'm shocked at how much far the gay agenda has reached. Everywhere I find acceptance and tolerance. What a nightmare. My male companion of many years, Clyde Tolson, would be sickened by all of this. Like me, he loved the dames. We would hold each other for hours and talk about how sexy women's bodies were to us. The liberal media must be stopped, and I'm the girl to do it. Enjoy a delightful cocktail, so this will be the second and final animation. But first of all, you've got to move, so I can make sure you actually are enjoying the cocktail. Yeah, I'd, I'd say he's enjoying the cocktail pretty good. Eating that little cherry. He's got a lime, he's got a little umbrella. I think he's having the time of his life. Hey cutie, what's your name? If you want to look proudly out gays, please know I am almost impossibly straight. Oh, that's obvious, honey. Beautiful dress. Thank you. I was rather concerned it made my hips look... You're trying to hit on me. Well, I am not at all incredibly flattered and interested. I know a great bar down the street. Can I buy you a drink? You may, but if you go back to my place later and enjoy the evening together, I hope you won't think I'm a homosexual. I'm just a victim of the liberal media. Damn them. Infantry bars. So have I seen this before? I don't remember. Well, well, no in a sec. I have seen this. And there we go again. This time, the full walkthrough for Undercover Hoover. So in this video, we got a chance to see two quest lines. We got to see four animations. So I'll see you with more premium content moving forward in this Pride update. Yes, there's still a little bit more to go. So keep it locked here in the very near future in the Simpsons Tap Down. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.